Really, Funimation, you profess to have standards after everything you allowed from your employees, the voice actors that worked at Funimation when they were attacking your customers, your consumers, when they were calling people out of name with tweets and attacking people. You profess, this is the point that you choose to profess that you have standards and that you actually adhere to them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is, is there any any other company that fails like Funimation? Is there any other entity, company, conglomerate that fails on such an epic level like Funimation? Because I don't think there is. I'm looking at Funimation and of course, I mean, I've at, at one point I was a fan of Funimation. And, you know, when I was ignorant to everything that was going on back when I was a kid, a young teenager, and I had aspirations of being a voice actor. And I looked up to guys like fun of, uh, Vic Mignogna, and I still look up to him as inspiration. Uh, back when, you know, he used to work with Funimation on, you know, Full Metal Alchemist and Dragon Ball and other different shows that he was a part of. But, you know, as time went on, it became more apparent about the politics and ideals that Funimation tried to, you know, invoke on their consumers. And now we have another instance of this. So, Interspecies Reviewers is this great new anime. And I got a, I, I got a, a review of Interspecies Reviewers coming out. It's already done. It's in the editing room. Obviously, I'm going to have to tweak a few things because of this situation happening. But uh, Interspecies Reviewers is a show that's very empowering to women. They wear practically whatever they want and they work in a style that's, you know, that's suiting to them. So, you know, here we go. We have Funimation getting the license to dub the show. And at this point, I look at the excuse of Funimation as saying that they did not know that the show uh, did not adhere to their standards. So what this lets us know, and what this lets any competent person know, is that Funimation is incompetent. This means that this company did no review of this series, and they just took it. They looked at the cover, they looked at even... Uh, I, I don't get it, because even the promotional material, the promotional images for this show, the cover art, would let you know exactly what you're getting into. Okay? There is no way you did not know. What happened with this situation, I can guarantee you that this is what it really is, is that they took it because they wanted the money. Because they recognized that this IP is very lucrative. Uh, there's a lot of people that support female empowerment. And they thought, okay, this is a, a way for us to get a slice of that pie. But what they didn't intend to happen is that somebody within the company or maybe even a couple of fake fans of Funimation pulled the old Twitter complaining bit. Like, oh my god, I can't believe Funimation is licensing this show. How could they put their name on it? And Funimation, being bitch made the way that they are, they instantly got cold feet. We're not going to be doing this show anymore. No, 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 fuck you. You should be doing this show, and if I'm the original license holders, if I'm the people that license the show to you, I would be suing your ass in court because this is gonna this is gonna put a damper on their income. This is gonna affect their bottom line because they wanted their show translated and made you know relatable to our country. Now there's gonna be a big ass delay. Now that's not gonna be the case because now Funimation is locking down this IP to where no one else can freaking dub it and now the creators of interspecies reviewers is not going to be getting that same outreach that they should be getting because of your incompetence you know what should happen your asses should be sued or you should be forced to finish the show and we want to talk about the philosophy of standards that Funimation seems to bear all of a sudden let, let, let's look at this so the buck stops at interspecies reviewers right but then we look at another show that you guys feature on your website uh, how Le heavy are the dumbbells that you lift which features sexually clad men with huge muscles in speedos some of them around underage high school girls that are sexually enticed by them that's not below your standards and that's perfectly okay because twitter blue check marks they're down with that 
but we look Please. at uh, the appropriately empowered females, appropriately aged women, interspecies reviewers around appropriately aged men, and that's a problem for the Twitter blue check marks. And make no mistake about it, that's who you're trying to appeal to. You're not appealing to the anime fans anymore. You're trying to appease these little Twitter posters that might come out and complain. And again, you're just using them as a catalyst. You're just trying to use them to enforce your politics and ideals. You're not fooling anyone. And honestly, I don't want you guys getting another season of High School DXD. How many uh, scenes probably got cut out of that show? How many lines got reworked by Jamie Markey to fit a political ideal? I mean, that's pretty much typical with your studio at this point, Funimation. You go around censoring other people's artwork and you go around pushing your own political agenda on the anime audience and community. You're not a friend to us anymore. You're destructive and I think it's time that we as a community participated in dismantling this establishment, right? It, it, I, and again, I don't believe that you guys were this idiotic. I know that Funimation is incompetent, but there's a limit. I don't believe that they did not review a single second of this show and then pick up what it was really putting down. I could not see this show. I could not actually watch an episode and I could look at these images and figure out what the hell is going to go on and you wanted that instant money. So this is the problem, right? I think that we're at this point now with Funimation and we were already there with the Vic Mignogna case. We were already there to the point where we needed to be talking to these companies, to these original license owners of these shows and getting them pulled from Funimation because if Funimation is this incompetent that they'll pull this with interspecies reviewers, then we need to be warning these other studios in Japan. We need to be talking to people that work with My Hero Academia. Now, of course, My Hero Academia does not feature the same level of female empowerment. Even though they have characters like Midnight and Mount Lady, it's still not a level of female empowerment. I mean, females are still repressed in that show. But there's other, you know, anime that need to be protected. This is why, you know, Funimation and Jamie Markey can, ins you know, input their own political ideals into the dubs and nobody knows this because Japan is not sitting there watching every single second of an English dub episode of their work and I'm pretty sure if they were and they were made very aware of the situations that's going on here they would not be satisfied with Funimation. We need to at this point we need to be tweeting at these studios don't tweet at Funimation. If you have to put Funimation, it, it, obviously you're going to have to put them in a tweet, but we need to be tweeting at these studios to get these shows pulled from Funimation because that's going to hurt their bottom line. They just hurt interspecies reviewers' bottom line. Let's hurt Funimation's bottom line, right? Because they basically just stole money from original license holders, the original studio that made this show, by not actually doing their freaking job and dubbing this show. And I, at this point, I would not want Funimation to dub this show anymore because they would probably pull some BS, like being half-assed about it, just like they were half-assed with the dubbing of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I, I just think we're at a point where every single person in this company should not like no Funimation needs to go down and every single person that was down with the fuckery should be not allowed to work on any anime anymore they need to just go do something else because they've proven that their ideals are toxic and it corrodes anything that they're actually a part of and they don't they should not get the privilege of being a part of our genre They've proven that they want to be Hollywood, they want to censor stuff, they want to inject politics into stuff. Well, go off to Hollywood, but stay the hell away from anime. I'm sick of this. I'm at this point now where every time I hear Funimation, it's, uh, it makes me sick. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm going back retroactively and hating shows that have the Funimation seal on them. I still love Dragon Ball, you know, back in the orange box set. I still love Yu Yu Hakusho, Tenchi Muyo, different shows that were dubbed by Funimation. But now, this new Funimation, this new entity, uh, post-2010, it's truly a snake den, 
and they're gonna keep pulling stuff like this unless we cause a outrage unless we get to a point where we can concentrate that outrage not just blind hatred and fury and mean tweets we need to get all on one accord we need to get to that point like i said we need to be tweeting studio after studio after studio after studio thousands upon tweets to where they cannot ignore it make it to the point where they have to lock their freaking twitter accounts to get them to listen to not do business with funimation anymore and i'm sorry i don't like you know saying things like that because there might be that innocent average joe that is not part of the fuckery at Funimation, but he needs to have the confidence to say, look, I see stuff is going down, let me secure my future and go do something at some other credible company. But that's just my opinion on this, this crap. Interspecies interviewers or uh, reviewers, they need to be seeking legal counsel on how to handle Funimation because this is going to hurt their, their take home. This is going to hurt their money. This is going to hurt them globally. And it's all because of Funimation. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this brand of Funimation stupidity. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, watch any of our other videos here on the Perfection channel. Of course, I've been your perfect being and the number one anime gaming Dragon Ball Xenoverse channel on YouTube and the internet perfection sama hit that subscribe button click the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video and if you've made it to this point you're a hashtag completionist perfectionist but completionist perfectionist in your comment and you might see it in the next video peace